and Caius Cucinos, and this time I'm not alone. This is Tour. He will sail with me to Guatemala. There I will prepare my boat for my solo sail around the world. Because of my deep draft, I need a super high tide to get into the Rio Dulce. We have a couple of weeks, so we decided to go to Caius Cucinos. We're going to explore the islands by dinghy. Later on in this video, I will tell you more about the moorings. I don't know what it is about this <laughs> island and Karin. It's something. Yeah, they say they're making a TV program, survival. It's like X. Robinson, but I still found coconut, so I think they're still fine. Um, I didn't see any people. Island look really dry, but there's enough fish here, so they will survive. Cayos Cochinos is an island group of 13 small islands. Now we are heading to an island which is a community of Garifuna fishermen. This is a nice island. It's a little bit like the San Blas, only without the kunas. Because all the Garifuna people live on this island, it is a very busy island. But I do for having a good lunch. To get some nice quiet beach time, we went to this beautiful Bounty Island. When I'm at such a nice place, I always think, oh, I can live here, it's so beautiful. But that never takes long. I'm always getting restless with, within an hour. <laughs> Enough beach time for now. The wind is picking up and I'm eager to go home to see if Footloose is doing okay. Getting wet. Cochinos are all managed by the Honduran Coral Reef Fund and are recognized as marine protected area. The coral reef found here is part of the second biggest coral reef in the world, Meso-American Barrier Reef. Cayos Cochinos are one of the most important parts of the Meso-American Barrier Reef system. And this environment and waters have been protected as an ecological marine reserve system since 1994. This is the bay where we went in. Anchoring is not allowed. On avionics was mentioned that there were five mooring boys. We only found two. I did not trust this mooring. <laughs> Falling apart. Because the mooring we were on was, in my opinion, too close to a reef. I decided to go by kayak to the local diving school and ask more about the situation of the moorings. They told me that there are still pins in the ground and they uh, told me where they are so we had to um, uh, get a line attached to the pins. Tour uh, went in the water and uh, he attached a line um, straight to the mooring. Um, but yeah, after that the boat is just good, uh, safe. 
as long as we stay in the neighborhood. All right, let you go. That's quick. Huh? That's a quick sailing. <laughs> Funny. Bay Islands is a beautiful Caribbean island group. There's so much to explore. The nature is pure. That is just beautiful around here. Only Cayos Cochinos is for me not a solo sail destination. Actually, because of the moorings. If I can't anchor and there is no mooring buoy, it's not possible for me. Because I found out that I really want to be able to dive to my anchor or mooring. Um, we will sail to Utilia where I will learn how to free dive. And after that, we need to hurry to the Rio Dulce for high water. I love making videos and share my adventures with you. As soon as I'm out of the Rio Dulce, I will have a lot more solo sailing videos for you. I started a Patreon account. Some posts are just public and some posts are for members. As a member, you get the early access to my videos and a lot of other benefits. Just have a look at my account. Thanks for watching.